Hello everyone, this is Mom D again and welcome back to our channel, Matali lang to. So ang lesson natin ngayon, ang pinagkaiba lang sa previous one, is this time baliktad naman. We are going to convert linear equation from slope-intercept form na y equals mx plus b to standard form which is ax plus by equals c. Sa previous video natin, alam ko naman na intindihan nyo na ang pagkakaiba ng slope-intercept form sa kanan standard form. So sa video na to, isusulat natin ang linear equation na naka-slope-intercept form into standard form. Pero mahalaga na tandaan nyo sa standard form na ax plus by equals c, dapat ang a coefficient sa ka b coefficient ay hindi fraction. So, kung fraction man siya lumabas, meron pa kayong additional step na gagawin. As well as, yung coefficient na A, as much as possible, dapat siya ay laging positive. Kung siya man ay maging negative, there's also another step na kailangan gawin. Okay, so let's start with the example. Our first example is y equals 10x minus 7. So, ano ba ang ating first step? Our first step is to add opposite of the x term to both sides of the equal sign. So, iba kaparehas lang siya ng step na ginawa natin sa ating previous video. So, dito ano ba ang ating x term? Ang x term ay positive 10x. So, opposite of that is negative 10x. So, we will add negative 10x to both sides of the equal sign. Okay. So, therefore, adding it, so 10x plus negative 10x, so that will be 0. So, ano natira sa side na yun? After adding, ang natira ay negative 7. At sa kabilang side naman, meron tayong two terms ng y and negative 10x. Hindi natin siya pwede pagsamahin kasi obviously, hindi siya like terms. Kasi nga, magkaiba ang kanilang variable, x and y. So, kailangan lang natin siyang kopyahin. So, sa pagkuha kung ano ang mauna, consider nyo lang na ko-convert natin siya into standard form at nauuna ay x term. So, una natin isulat ang x term na negative 10x and then yung y term na positive y. Okay, so here as you can see, ang ating a coefficient ay negative. So, that's the time na meron tayong gagawin na another step. And that is to multiply every term by negative 1. So, multiply natin every term by negative 1. Okay. So, negative 1 times negative 10x. Negative times negative, that will be positive. Positive 10x. And then, negative 1 times positive y. So, negative times positive is negative. Okay. So, negative y and then equals, lastly, negative 1 times negative 7, negative times negative, so magiging positive. So, yan. I think that's the final answer. So, ang given na uh, equation na naka-slope intercept, which is y equals 10x minus 7, for our final answer, ang siya ay 10x minus y equals 7 in standard form. Okay, so that's it. So let's have the next example, which is y equals negative 2x plus 1. First step. Okay, so same thing. So add opposite of the x term to both sides of the equal sign. So ang ano bang ating x term? Okay, ang ating x term is negative 2x. So, opposite of that is positive. So, mag-add tayo ng positive 2x sa magkabilang side ng equal sign. Okay, and to simplify, so negative 2x plus 2x, so that will be 0. So, again, anong natira sa side na yon after adding that? So, ang natira na lang ay 1. And on the other side, again, hindi pwedeng pagsamahin ang dalawang term na yon kasi 2x and y, they are not like terms. So, kailangan lang natin kopyahin. Anong mauuna? Ang mauuna ay x term. So, unahin natin ang 2x. 
and then copy the y term which is positive y. So that's the answer. I think wala na tayong second step for that kasi positive ng ating x term. Positive ng ating coefficient na a which is 2. Okay, so next. Okay, so for our last example, so that is y equals 4 fifth x plus 3. Okay, so as you can see, meron tayong fraction. So what if ganyan ang given? What will be the first step? The first step, okay, if slope is a fraction or if the slope is a fraction, multiply by that denominator. Ano multiply Lahat ng term. At ano ba ang ating denominator? Okay, ang ating denominator is 5. So, we will multiply every term by 5. Okay. Para maalis natin yung pagka-fraction. So, 5 times y. So, that will be 5y equals, okay, and then 4 fifth times 5. So, this is the time na mawawala ang fraction. Bakit? Kasi that will be it's like 5 times 4 over 5. Diba? 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, matitira is 4. So, 4x and then 5 times 3. So, that will be 15. So, now what will be the next step? Okay. So, next step is to add opposite of the x term to both sides. Kasi hindi pa siya naka-standard form. So, add opposite of the x term to both sides of the equal sign. Okay, ang ating x term ay positive 4x. So, opposite of that is negative 4x. So, plus negative 4x. So, therefore, so to simplify, 4x plus negative 4x, that is 0. So, on this side, ang natira na lang is 15. So, so, side na yon since nag-zero nga siya, so 15 na lang. And sa kabila, so tulad ng sinabi natin, hindi natin siya pwede pagsamahin, pero unahin ang ating x term. So, x term is negative 4x, and then the y term, which is positive 5y. Okay. So, ang ating a coefficient, or yung coefficient na a, ay negative pa, kaya kailangan natin siyang gawing positive by multiplying every term by negative 1. Okay. So, negative 1 times negative 4x, so that will be positive. Negative times negative. And then, negative 1 times 5y, so that will be negative 5y equals negative Okay, negative 1 times positive 15. So, magkaiba ng sign. So, that will be negative 15. Okay, so that's the final answer. So, yung given natin na equation, which is y equals 4 over 5x or 4 fifth x plus 3. So, in standard form, okay, so siya ay 4x minus 5y equals negative 15. So, yun lang. Pag ang given, um, naka-fraction ng slope, kailangan muna natin i-multiply by the denominator lahat ng terms. Okay? And then, pag negative pa ang coefficient na a, so, kailangan i-multiply by negative 1. So, that's all. That's all for today. So, thanks for watching. So, sana naintindihan nyo. See you sa aming next video. Bye-bye!